Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got a Dollar Tree haul. As soon as I turn this fan off. It's loud in here. And I have a baby kitty. Oh, my soul, my old man. He wants to be outside, but it's raining. Say hi. Say hi, buddy. Oh. All right, done with my cat ridiculousness. I've got a haul and I'm super excited about it. So let's get into it. First, I bought a basket. In and of itself, it's not very exciting. However, they did come in all different colors, like green and blue and pink. I think that would be so awesome for like a college dorm. And then they would know whose basket's who's in the laundry room. Uh, mine is not for clothing though. Mine, I am a terrible, terrible person. I leave all my shoes by the front door because I don't like walking through my house in shoes. So they get, instead of just carrying them upstairs, they pile up and usually on the weekends I take them up. So now I'm going to put them in a basket and maybe I'll be tempted to take the basket up and down. I don't know. That's what I bought the basket for. Okay. I picked up three of these and these are, I think these are two in, two and a half inch in diameter. Um, I am propagating succulents and I'm videoing the process. It takes a long time. I think I'm about ooh, two weeks in, but I have some that I've rooted and they will need um, a little pot to get to root into. And I think I have seven that have sprouted so far. So I grabbed nine of these little tiny pots to put those in. And then I will gift them once they're growing. Just give them to friends and family and stuff. So I did that. I got some food, um, and by food, I mean confection sugar. My niece and sister-in-law and a friend and I are having a Hamilton party on Friday the 3rd. It comes out on Disney Plus. It's the musical, and I can't wait to see it. So I'm gonna make cookie bars. I have a couple things for that. This stuff is in no particular order, friends. I'm just grabbing. Um, for my little cousin Addie, for her going back to school, it's a bento style lunchbox. So it has two sections down here, one here, and then this lid sits on either side and you can put a sandwich on the top and then maybe some chips or like vegetables and things in the bottom and then this lid clips on. And I think she will absolutely love it. So I grabbed that for my little cousin for her back to school if she goes back to school. This stuff here is actually all together because I need to take it upstairs. But I grabbed one of these plastic measuring cups, which is great. These are four cup measures. These are nice, microwavable. They're plastic. I'm going to use it to melt wax, like beeswax and, and then oils like shea butter, cocoa butter to make lotion bars. And I need materials that are specific to crafting and not food. I'm sure it would be fine, but I just prefer not to. So I needed this, which I can microwave. So I have a measuring cup, and then I grabbed some of these silicone, like to stir. So I grabbed a little whisk, a spoon, and a spatula, and these are, so I think these are silicone. If not, it won't stick to it. So I grabbed some utensils to use. And then they have these little knives. I've used one of these before camping. They're not terrible. I mean, I don't wouldn't use it every day, but to cut, again, for crafting purposes for me. And it has a nice protector on it. So what I'm going to do, this won't fit, but I also picked up one of these containers. And I'm going to keep all of my stuff. I have other measuring things, which will go in here and the oils flavoring and stuff that scents and then i can keep it all together and i won't have cross contamination or spilling the only thing is this won't fit um, but i think it's going to still be okay i mean it's going to be okay so i can just store all this upstairs in my craft space or in the kitchen somewhere or wherever but i will know everything in here has been touched with fragrance oils and wax and stuff so that was important on the craft side, I picked up a few things. I grabbed a 15 pack, which this is the first thing in the store with the new packaging that I've seen went up in pieces. 
The old brand only had 12, but they were the exact same size. So I grabbed this one. It has 15 pieces. And these are six inch uh, dowels. And I love them. I have a, an idea for a project if they'll work. And then I picked up one more block of these. These are gonna make great feet on things. So if you see them, grab them. Um, and then two new things. One, again with the dangerous stuff in this Dollar Tree, but these are woodworking tools. I don't know that I need them in my life, but I wanted to show you. They're like, and they even this one has directions on the back of what each shape tape does. I will tell you that straight edge uh, exacto knife kit with the change out blades is dangerous. There is no case for any of that. It's all just loose when you open up. I tossed it in the trash. Dangerous. I would not recommend that, especially if you're going to have kids. There's no way to t how to tell you how to put the blades in. It's just super dangerous. Obviously, you're not handing this stuff over to kids, but maybe you don't realize when they pick it up what it is. And these are sharp, and that is very sharp. That's my PSA. We don't want anybody getting injured. Um, oh, and when I went to my store, they had a big sign on the window that said it was a Crafter Square official store to, to visit the Crafter Square section. So my store, and one store in my area, and I have five or six of them, that has this dedicated, oh, my crazy hair, I need a haircut, dedicated aisle. Every store in my area has some of the stuff, but my one store has a big section. Anyway, these are rub-off decals. So these are not stickers. They're actually rub-on transfers. And look at that. The black and all these designs. And then I grabbed one in, in gold to do something for my kitchen. And look at this. It's gray and burnt orange. But can you please look at the little raccoons hugging and the foxes and the little fishes? Ah. This is in the unicorns. Guys, I love this. I don't know what it's going to go on, but it's going to go on something because I love it. So, yeah, you get one sheet. And on the back, it gives you some ideas. It would be good on wood items, like one of those wooden signs or something I think it would be good on. Perfect. So, I grabbed three only. But my section has a whole row of um, stickers. Have you, If you've ever watched Canadian... Dollar Tree um, shop with me's. Some of them last year and the year before I saw with all of these stuff, this Crafter Square section in their stores and wonder why we didn't have it, but now we do. Sorry for the weird lighting. It's raining. Um, I saw this for the first time, parchment paper pop-up sheets. I use parchment a lot. Um, they may have had them before, but I've not seen them. And this seems like a decent size. And I think this is going to be better than the roll for me. So I grabbed these, I'm gonna try them today because I'm gonna bake. Um, for, for my cousin, I grabbed, she loves these Mambo's, uh, Mamba candies. And so I will bring those. I'm going to the fair in a couple weeks to see her daughter and I will bring those to her because she likes them. Uh, for me and my personal life stuff, I grabbed a three pack of file folders now there's a couple things you can do with these you can use these as like paper and punch it for a sturdier you know if you want to make like notebook fronts and things i'm actually using them as file folders but you get three in a pack which is perfect i don't need a big box so like again is this cost effective if you need 50 no it's not you go buy a box of them i need one or two this is going to be the best bet for me because I don't need more than three, if that makes sense. Like, I'll probably use two and then use one to hole punch for some things. So, there's that. I think we're getting... Oh. All right. Crafter Square, new item. I lied. Look at this glitter glue. And look at the size of these bottles. Now, they had neons, and then they had red, gold, green, silver. This is a clear, sparkly, cra it's craft glue. But I'm going to try a little technique I have used with paper crafting stuff, um, where you lay it out and or do dots, and the clear glue dries, and you still see the glitter behind it. And if that works, I'm going to be super excited, because I pay a lot of money for those little tiny tubes of it. And I definitely use them for Christmas crafting. So I grabbed these two colors thinking this is what I would use the most. 
you do you. Oh, sorry, Babs. So I grabbed two of those, but this is huge. This is 3.89 fluid ounces. I mean, that's a big bottle of glue. And the glue's already in it. I don't have to like mix with the, I mean the glitter and the glue are already mixed. So I grabbed that. I just thought this was fun. I'm gonna put it out front. It's just a solar light. I'm gonna put it down by my driveway. Actually, as soon as I'm done with this video, I may go out there and stick it. Does it work? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Is it go oh, it is going off. <laughs> it works. And then I'll just take this off. And I'm, I like the extra light on my street. It's a little dark. We don't have street lights or anything. Um, so I thought this would be good. And it's cute. And it's colorful. And it has a spike to go in the ground. So I picked that up. And then I just got a couple pans um, for the Hamilton party. I'm going to push cookie dough and I just bought sugar cookie dough from the store. I'm going to push it into the pan, make some frosting and I have sprinkles. And then I'm making two pans, one for here and one for my niece Sarah to take with her because that in the evening she's going to her girlfriend's house. All right, I bought fall stuff and only because I saw it and I had a hard time last year finding these in the Christmas colors. <gasps> Look at it. It's the orange and red berry vine or garland. Oh, I can't wait to do something with that. I just grabbed two. I didn't get crazy. And the last item, uh, can you say pumpkin spice latte socks? Friends, friends. Look at these coffee pumpkin pie i'm not sure why they're in no show socks but whatever i'm gonna go with it i'm excited and then it comes with just a pair of gray and white stripes which i'll wear but uh pumpkin spice latte yes please and thank you so that's everything i smell okay i'm back because i missed a bag what crazy the best stuff i always save for last I'm sure that you've seen these on the internet, but these are new to me and I wanted to share with you. They have eco tools, guys. I don't know if this is something they're going to be carrying all the time, but I buy this stuff at Ulta. This is a control, contour perfecting applicator. It's like a sponge on a handle and it helps you with contouring. Um, these are so going to be saved for Christmas presents. So I got the contour blender. They have a Cogn a Conjac sponge facial scrubber. And it says it's um, pure Conjac for gentle cleansing sponge made with 100% natural vegetable fiber. So I always get my niece like makeup and stuff and this is so gonna go in a basket with all of that. They have these mini sponges for contouring. These are tiny, like, Order, maybe nickel size they're not big but and they're color coded so you can use them with your different colors of concealer oh this is color perfecting minis for concealers so this ooh, I'm throwing stuff this is for contour this is for concealers how cute are these guys and then they have these um, muslin polishing cloth to wash your face after your makeup it's um, our design with organic cotton to open pores and remove dirt, oil, and makeup for fresh and revived skin. Organic cotton in a reusable pouch. It says, tip, run the muslin cloth under comfortably hot water, wring out the excess, and place the cloth over your face to open your pores and relax. And I'm assuming they're washable. And then the last thing of the eco tools these are mask remover sponges again in their own little container and you get three of them and just for like taking masks and stuff off so i mean guys look at this with some cleanser or some makeup this is an excellent excellent gift all of this for five dollars you can't buy that in the store for five dollars and then who was outside that but he was at my house. Um, I got some lipstick to try. It's Wet n Wild Gel Lip Balm. Lip Balm. We're going to try this. I, You know I'm all about my lip balm, right? And as I said, on vacation, I burnt my lip. I always burn my bottom lip. Okay, let's dry. 
And this is Pout and Rule in this purple color. No smell. Mmm. Oh, I like that. It's just, oh, very light. I'm glad I went with the darker color. It's just a very light pink. Isn't that awesome? Mmm, it's very smooth. This would be perfect for like fall. Oh, I love it. Okay, now we're at the end of the video. All right, oh, and Wellington's back where he was. All right, guys, well, I hope you have a good one. I will talk to you later. Bye.